Hello and welcome. In this episode, I'm going to be investigating types of shoe. Not this type of shoe, no, cycling shoes. Why do people wear them? What are the differences between them? And most importantly, what works best for me? All this and more coming right up. So what actually is the point in wearing cycle shoes? Well, I was interested to know, so I went and asked a bunch of cyclists. And where better to find a bunch of cyclists than in Evan Cycles' head office changing room? So, Mark, I notice you're putting on your shoes right now. Yeah. Your cycling shoes. Yeah. Uh, why do you wear cycling shoes? Uh, the most comfortable, the best fit on the pedal, uh, and uh, efficient pedaling. Would you ever go back to flat pedals? Not on a road bike, no. Not even, wouldn't even think, think twice about it? No way. What's the point in wearing cycling shoes? Why, why do you bother wearing them? Uh, protection, stiffer soles, so they make it a bit more comfortable. Um, and also, you so use clipping pedals, so it makes it easier to fit. Do you reckon you'd ever go back to flat pedals? No. Not even a shadow of a doubt? No, no question. Okay, so I think we've established that once you take the leap into the SPD market, it's difficult turning back. But now I'm interested to know what's out there. What should I be looking for? I think it's time we better go grab some stuff from the warehouse. Right, so I've got a selection of shoes in front of me, but what are the main differences here? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is divide these into two, and that is because there is one main difference, and that is probably the most important thing you should be deciding when buying a cycling shoe. It's what type of riding these are designed for. The easiest way to tell is to look at the sole of your shoe. Now you see on this one, there are only two bolt holes, and that's because it accepts a mountain bike style of cleat the bit that goes on the bottom of your shoe and clips into the pedal. It's known as a mountain bike style because it's favoured by mountain bikers and you'll see why a little bit later on. If we look at one from the other side, this little fluorescent number, you'll see that this has three bolt holes and this is known as a road cleat style. They take three bolts. The differences between them, I think it's better we show you. Time for a bit of testing. Okay guys, so I'm out here in the miserable weather today. I'm gonna to put this bike through its paces with a set of mountain bike shoes, with a set of road shoes. I'm gonna ride in a variety of different locations and I'm gonna let you guys know my findings. Let's go. Right, so mountain bike shoes versus road bike shoes so far. Well, I've done a bit of off-roading and I have to say the mountain bike shoes, surprise, surprise, are actually doing a lot better. Uh, mainly because the pedals are double-sided, I don't have to look down to clip in, I can just stamp my foot down. Whereas the road shoes, by the time I'm actually clipped in, I spent so long looking at the pedal, I'm almost falling sideways and going so slowly. I also tried running off the bike a little bit. It's a big no-no in road shoes. I just had no grip, especially on this wooden floor. Uh, I can imagine in a supermarket it'd be the worst thing ever, more like an ice rink. Uh, I'm gonna give these shoes a little wash now because we've got some tarmac to hit to see how they perform on the road. Let's go. Okay, so after riding both sets of pedals on the road for a little while, what can I conclude? Well, I've got to admit the road pedals were a lot more comfortable. I felt like I've got more foot support and my foot doesn't roll as much as it did in mountain bike pedals. If I was going out for a long ride, I'd definitely choose road pedals. Mountain bike pedals though, the security of being able to put your foot down is very reassuring. Okay, so that's probably the biggest decision to make, I guess. But what else have I got to worry about? Well, aside from looks, brand, weight, and probably most importantly, fit, all of which are pretty self-explanatory, there is also closure system. Now there are three main closure systems. Look at this first example here. This is the classic Velcro and ratchet setup. Um, found on a lot of shoes because it's cheap to produce, it's really easy, and you can adjust it on the bike as well uh, while you're riding along, say your shoe's too tight. Uh, I'm a big fan of this system just because, you know, its simplicity is so good. Although my personal favorite, are the lace-ups. These are making a resurgence. 
uh, mainly because of their lightweight and their adjustability. You know, each one of these holes you can see is a, uh, a little bit of adjustment for your foot, so you can really dial in the fit of your shoe. Um, but you can't, unless you're really good at riding no handed, adjust these on the bike. And then lastly, we've got this little techie guy, the Boa. Now this circular device, you just click like this. Some models, you pop them out, but you basically just twist this and it pulls this wire tight across your foot and evenly distributes its weight. It's found on more expensive, higher end shoes. These are more expensive to produce, I guess. Um, but the feel of them, the ease of adjustability and the speed as well is something unrivaled by these two. Really good. So what to conclude? Well, if you're out on a prolonged ride and just for a ride, then I could not recommend the road style of shoe more. Makes pedaling more enjoyable because you can just put down so much more power and you know, means you're not as knackered at the end of the ride. However, if perhaps you're on your way to work, stopping off for a coffee, or even in the woods needing to climb off and climb over a log every now and again, a mountain bike shoe is probably the one for you. There's something just reassuring about being able to put your foot down and clip in and pedal. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments and what you guys think. So get at us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want, and we hope to see you soon. Enjoy the ride.